Through the centuries, black holes have been on and off through popularity. But the last couple of decades, the topic has been dangerously popular, sucking more and more people into the topic, and I'm very, very happy I was too. Because you could spend your whole life and you still couldn't get it all written down. But if you just want to learn the basics in five minutes, I'm Max, and I present to you Black Holes. A black hole is formed when a star like our sun runs out of fuel and creates a supernova explosion. Though the gravity for a black hole to form it needs to be four times stronger than the sun. Even though with some gravity, gravity from the sun, you could only jump one centimeter. And with that gravity, nothing can escape, even light. And because it absorbs everything in its path, black holes are black. The biggest black hole is Tun 618. To compare, the sun is one solar mass. But Tun 618 is 66 billion times that. A black hole is measured on solar masses, so are stars. It's the heaviest measurement to scale. And the sun is measure measured on it. The sun is 10 to the 30th pounds, which is one solar mass. In comparison, Tun 618 is 10 to the 40th power pounds. On the other hand, some other black holes weren't so lucky. Like the unicorn. This is the smallest black hole to be found, being three solar masses. Don't fear. Both of these black holes are very, very far away from us. Now let's get to types of black holes. The first are primordial black holes. These are the size of a standard nickel in a wallet, but they have the mass of the Earth. These types wouldn't last too long, only like a nanosecond, to be specific. When, a, when this black hole dies, it'll create an explosion like a supernova, but much, much smaller. Sagittarius A is a supermassive black hole which has a continuous mass of 4,000 and up. It's in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, and Sagittarius A contains 4 million solar masses. The sun takes up 99.86% of our solar system in mass, but supermassive black holes take up 0.001% of the galaxy. Another supermassive black hole is Messier 87. It's 6.5 billion solar masses, from, and from bottom to top, it fumes with gases 500,000 light years in diameter. And it was the first black hole to be found on a telescope. And now the King of Kings, ultra-massive black holes. These guys are from 10 billion solar masses and above. 10 billion times the weight of our sun. Since Tun 618 is a supermassive, I mean ultra-massive, Let's continue on it. Normally, ultra-massive black holes can contain more than a more than our sun can eat up more than our sun each day. But Tun 618 eats about ten times more than that because its diameter and gravity are so big. Stephen Hawking made a theory called the information paradox. This means when something is in space. Like Elon Musk's roadster he launched into space to get su if it were to get sucked into a black hole, the knowledge of this event will slowly erase from human memory over many, many, many years. There are type another follow-up for Stephen Hawking is Hawking radiation. This is how a black hole dies. It's a mixture between negative energy and positive energy. One of the two will separate from the black hole. And over tens of billions of billions of years, this is the black hole will start getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And just like the primordial black hole that I mentioned a few minutes earlier, the black hole will explode into many light years, depending on its mass. Thank you for watching. Bye.